With the Nexus 7 tab and the Nexus 4 smartphone currently impressing the tech masses, the pressure is on for the Nexus 10 to be just as successful. And all the ingredients are there. The Nexus 10 offers up an impressive high-res screen, a serious amount of power and Android Jelly Bean, all for a great price. But can its performance match those headline figures? So the Nexus 10 is pretty solid and you can certainly tell Samsung is behind the hardware. The Nexus 10 screen is the sharpest we've seen on an Android tablet ever. And like the Microsoft Surface, its 16 by 9 10 inch screen looks oddly tall in portrait mode. But text in ebooks and Google Maps is pin sharp. You can zoom right into high res images to see all the extra pixels, and a spin through the YouTube app's full HD content really shows up its Android rivals. HD movies and apps can look a little washed out, icons also look softer around the edges and there's nothing to grab you on the home screens until you've done a little customising. As well as Google Now cards to remind you of the weather, when your next bus is or how many meetings you've got this afternoon, there are also two swipe down menus, one for notifications and one for quick access to settings. And with widgets for the music player, bookmarks and ebooks, Jelly Bean on the Nexus 10 is good for personalisation and multitasking is slick as ever. You can even customise your Nexus 10's lock screen and add user accounts. Now Google Play isn't quite ready for Android 4.2 just yet, which means some apps like Flipboard and BBC iPlayer are incompatible, and there aren't yet any apps that fully make use of its seriously impressive screen. There's still a considerable lack of tablet-specific apps too, but new cross-platform apps like The Hobbit look very good. Now it's running on a 1.7 GHz dual-core processor and complemented nicely with 2 GB of RAM. And the Nexus 10 is smooth for the most part. Browsing is fast and app downloads are pulled in in a snap. But Jelly Bean on the Nexus 10 isn't as fluid as it is on the Nexus 4. The tablet tripped up during Grand Theft Auto sessions and flicking through ebooks isn't as instantaneous as it should be. Around the back, the Nexus 10's 5 megapixel snapper performs well indoors, but overall its images look a little faded and lack vibrancy. Like the Nexus 4, you can take 360 degree photo spheres and touching any part of the screen while recording video takes a still image. And its 1.9 megapixel front facing snapper is more than capable of capturing enough light and detail for your video calls. Now the Google Nexus 10 packs a pretty large battery, so it doesn't suffer the same battery woes as the Nexus 4. Impressively, with normal usage, with Wi-Fi on and the display at half brightness, you'll run down 20 to 30% after half a day's normal use. So if you're after high tablet performance but you're on a relatively limited budget, going for the Nexus 10 is a no-brainer. It's supremely capable despite a few performance hiccups, plus it packs the ever-improving Jelly Bean and that pixel-perfect high-res display. Now it doesn't feel as premium as the iPad, you might also find yourself missing out on some of the most interesting and high quality tablet optimised apps, but otherwise it's a brilliant effort, it offers a lot to get excited about and is quite possibly the best 10 inch tablet around if you don't want yours to have an Apple logo on it.